You're just in time. I'm getting ready to make some sawdust with a brand new router bit. This one's from Whiteside and is a T-slot cutter. Welcome to the Smart Wood Shop. I'm Ron Polk, and this is my Smart Wood Shop. If you want to get a detailed set of plans to build a Smart Wood Shop, Smart Station, Smart Workbench, any of the accessories, there's a link in the description of this video down below. T-slots are a really important element to the Polk Smart Wood Shop. I much prefer an integrated T-track over buying the metal ones. I'm back. I shut down the video for about 10 minutes because I was all set up and ready to go. And the router is dead. It's Milwaukee three and a half horsepower, just dead as a doornail. I'll have to take it apart and see if I can figure out what happened to it. That was smooth. It's quieter cutting than it is just spending without anything on it. That's what it looks like. So it's definitely much larger. Well, it would work fine for the stop. I'm not sure what the advantage of the much larger radius is. I'll have to play around with that. It doesn't hurt anything, I don't think. And it's in 18 mil, it's really strong. Again, I left 6 mil on the top there for that lip because it's more of a cantilever and you can see that it's got this 30 degree cut now what that is for as i understand it ah now i know why this is wider because they are designed to work with clamps so you can see these clamps they have this angle on them maybe it's 30 degrees but it's definitely an angle and they're wider than this, so you can see they won't fit in this T-track, but they will fit in there. Yeah, and so definitely I like the idea of having the top at 6 mil because I'd be pushing it a lot harder with clamping. I like the cut. It was nice and smooth, a single pass, so I could make my T-track uh, a lot quicker you know again with one pass and just one setup in just uh when i did the second setup that I, when i wasn't running the camera i was all ready to go so it literally after i had the router motor in the lift i dropped the bit in dialed the height in and set the fence up in like three minutes or less so that quick i can be ready to go and you could see i like in a wide board like this i could uh, do multiples of these if I wanted to create a a, a big custom fence, uh, say a table saw or uh, maybe a, a special clamping jig that would clamp to the bench and then have this. I mean, there's a there's a I think it's time to be creative with that. But I I think it's it's worth investing in that bit. I'm glad I got it, and thanks to the smart wood shop for bringing it to my attention. I didn't know it existed. Now, it is not inexpensive. It's, it's, it's a real high quality bit from Whiteside. So it's just under $80. And this one is right around $30. So it's two and a half times as expensive. But again, it's a bigger bit. It's half in shake. It's this, they're, they're equal quality. So that one's not better than this one. It just does a different job and there's a lot more material. And it saves time because it does that uh, that cut in a single pass. And I'll also say it's my experience, generally speaking, with router bits. You get a better cut, a cleaner cut, and uh, a, you know, a straighter cut with half inch over quarter. You just get a little more vibration in the course. Not the quality of the bed. It's just that it's smaller and it's spinning a lot faster. You slip these bigger bits too with the bigger diameter. You slow them down a little bit. So um, I will put a link to this in my store. It's an affiliate link. It'll be off of Amazon. So if you purchase this, then Amazon will pay us a little bit. Just so you know, if you use that link, 
it will be supporting the channel. That's it for today. I'm going to be thinking about this and thinking of little projects and things that tool accessories and things that this may be good for. And when I do that, of course, I'll bring them to your attention. If you've got any ideas about how this might be used, then drop your comments down below. I think us getting together and collectively brainstorming on this, uh, we, we might be able to come up with some, some pretty cool stuff. Mahalo.